Hey guys, uh, here's another game gear I'm working on fixing. Yeah, this one, the outer casing's in pretty rough shape here, but I'm just trying to get the thing to work. So this one doesn't power on at all. The light doesn't come on. So anyways, I already have it unscrewed here. So when I took this apart here, when I opened this up, I unscrewed the power board. Um, I tried to take it out, and when I took it out and flipped it upside down, this guy just came out. So yeah, I'm guessing that has to do with why it won't turn on. So, luckily it has the part number right on it here. It's a token, uh, get the focus, SBC9. 680152 that's the part number for it so I just googled that found the exact inductor right here it has all the specs listed for it here so you can't find this exact one um, I was looking around and basically if I wanted to order like one with these exact specs I'd have to order about 3,000 of them in bulk because they aren't readily produced so I just started looking for ones that were close to this. And I found this guy right here. I'll, I'll put links to all this in the description. So you can check it out if you want. This one's pretty close to it. And you can, uh, you can look at the two and see the differences. But from the research I did on these, because I don't know a whole lot about inductors or anything like that. The research I did on these, as long as this amperage is the same here, and this measurement's also the same. So yeah, this one this one's pretty close. So that should be in the mail in a day or two. Once that gets here, I'll uh, throw it in the game gear, test it out, and see if we get power. All right, so I got my inductor in the mail today. Came in this box. The stupidest thing I've ever seen. I guess they only ship in bulk usually. But yeah, I'm going to solder this in the game gear. Alright guys, as you can see I got that inductor in. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but it fits in the case. So, let's uh, test out this voltage. So, I got this plugged in right now. It's off for now. Got my multimeter right here. And these guys, I'm actually putting some electric tape over it to less than the chance that I short something out when I'm messing with these pins. Just a little trick I've been doing lately. Alright, so I don't have a tripod currently, so I'm just going to set this down and hold the readings I get. So, from the schematics I've seen, this top pin here, it should be getting 5 volts off of. The second pin should also be 5 volts. This bond pin should be 34 volts. So, those are the three main measurements I'm worried about. So I will check these real quick. Alright, that's the measurement for the first pin right there. 5.01 volts, looks good. Go on and do the second. I also got 5.01 on the second, that looks good as well. So now let's do the bottom one, which is supposed to be 34 volts. 34.12. This power board looks like it's outputting the correct voltages through these pins now, so... And as far as I'm concerned, this should work. So I'm gonna actually just hook this back up to the game gear. It doesn't have its capacitors replaced yet, so I'm not expecting like the sound and video work. I just want to see if it actually turns on at all, so I'll be back. Alright, so I got the game gear back in its case, hooked up to the uh, AC adapter here. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Oh nice, so power button came on, screen lit up, looks good, jeez. I half wasn't expecting that. Cool. So let's try with the game in. I didn't even put a cartridge in, I forgot to. Let's try with the game in this time. Let me go grab one. I got Sonic 3D, or shit, sorry, so just Sonic Blast in there. Let's try it. See what happens. Oh my god, fuck, whoa. Oh, the sound's still working? Holy shit, wow! Oh my god! Holy shit! Dude, 
I was not fucking expecting this. I didn't even touch the capacitors. These are all original capacitors in this thing. Holy fuck, man. I'm really fucking surprised. That wasn't, uh... That wasn't pre-scripted or anything. Jesus. I was not expecting that to just boot up like that with that clear picture and sound. Holy shit. Well, that's great. So, um... Yeah, if, uh... You ever open up a Game Gear and that blue inductor thing falls out, you know what to do to fix it now. So yeah, take it easy. All right, just wanted to add one final note to the video. So I was testing the differences between these two. So the video does look the same on both of them. This one has replaced capacitors. This is the one I just fixed. You can tell because the screen's so bad. But the sound is starting to go a little bit on this one. It's definitely not as loud as this one, which I've replaced all the sound capacitors on. So, looks like in the fairly near future, I'm going to replace the sound caps on this just so it doesn't get any worse than it is. But, yeah, besides that, can't really complain too much. Pretty surprised by the results. So, yeah, looks good to me.